Hi, traders. Welcome back to the Village Trader Chats with me, your host, Njabulin Tsibande, host of the Village Trader Podcast, the podcast I host weekly, chatting with other traders. Um, check out the link at the in top of the description below. Um, today, we're going to be looking at some PGMs uh, and a, a couple of other breakouts pending that look interesting. But before we get into that, please do make sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, hit that all important bell notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos. I do them daily. Um, and uh, tomorrow, uh, I w there won't be a, a charting video like this one because we're doing a live C CFD webinar with Simon Brown and Think Markets. Do check that out. I leave the link to that also in the top of this in the description below. Um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, so the first chart we're going to be looking at is British and Amer British American Tobacco, uh, which is a, a weird one. Um, looking at a bear chart uh, during a bull market, um, yeah. It's, but yeah, man, such uh, we 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 trade what we see uh, and we don't trade our opinions about the market. So anyway, um, we have this nice symmetrical triangle pattern, uh, a bearish one. Um, coming back from that uh, um, uh, a, a, a bearish bearish market on British American tobacco, which is kind of weird, um, seeing that you know both the top forty index and the FTSE one hundred are, are are looking quite bullish at the minute. Um, yet British British American tobacco, which is listed in, listed in both, um, uh, is looking rather bearish at the moment. You know, as you can see, it we we had. Um, uh, lower highs and and then a few higher lows, looking for a break uh, a break lower. I'll be exercising a bit of caution um, on on this particular trade because um, we necessarily because we we are in a a, a uh, um, rather a bull market um, and being short of stocks during a bull market can be quite dangerous and uh, but yeah we'll see if we do get a breakout. Uh, a break below as you can see my trend indicators are pointing to the downside um the share struggle to break through the as i zoom in to break through this 200 day exponential moving average which is this orangish goldish line um it came it, it came it, it first came here yeah, pretty close came back running away from it came back to test it couldn't break it successfully came back and tried again um still failing to 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 break through that 200 day exponential moving average um seems to find some weakness around the 200 day exponential moving average so looking to be um short on british american tobacco at, at the minute next on my list is a trade that i'm actually on um i entered on this breakout here um on this nice head and shoulders pattern that formed here on on, on discovery um uh, so we have we had this nice breakout on on the insurer and now we have this uh pullback forming a falling wedge and i think it was on the 14 15th this must have been on friday um we had this uh a morning star doji reversal candlestick um, forming. I don't necessarily trade candlesticks on their own. I just use them as, as you know, an anticipation uh, um, um, or a, a, a wake up call or, you know, something of that sort to now look to, to, to break higher or lower, which in this case to break higher on this nice falling wedge. I'm looking to add into this position and, and, and I'll, I'll be updating my stop to just below the low of that doji there um which would be uh put my initial stop rather around break even uh, and i'm looking to i'm looking for a break higher there on um discovery this trade looking rather rather good uh but we'll see um normally uh on on um um on a following wedge you you would look to target the top the the very top of the the wedge where where it started from however um if you do if you use the um height of the head and then you project that upwards takes you around that same level so looking to take to 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 take some profit around that um um one one fifty seven ish um uh, 
um, level. So both the head and shoulders pattern and the falling wedge um, point point us to 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 to, to the same target at the, at at the moment. Next, some PGMs are looking to be breaking higher. Um, first off, with starting with Impala, um, I entered this trade just before the close uh, um, today, um, as 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 we were breaking through this ascending triangle pattern. Um, and it, it, it's a, it's a, I'm also already I was already long on Impala Platinum on this breakout here. This that's the initial breakout, um, and then we we kind of paused around that 221 ish level which we then broke out today and then and then i added to the position uh putting my stop just below the low of that low there um uh, giving me a decent two to one risk risk reward ratio notwithstanding that i'm actually adding into this position and now my my uh, initial stop loss is just above the um um uh, just above the entry point on on this particular trade so you know if you new to, to if you new to 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 for the shooter charts a common theme that i that i do is i i like adding into my winning positions i cut my losers short and i add to my winning position and i let them run um, um as high as they possibly can next on the pgm list is northern platinum um as you can see we have we, we're currently in a uh, a nearly vertical uh, uptrend on on northern uh found some resistance there around 218 uh, looking for a break above um the 218 level looking good at the moment um uh, we'll, we'll we'll be looking as to where to put the target uh, when we do break out um uh um out of out of out of out of the um this resistance but i am looking to add into this position because i'm already uh um uh, a long northern platinum um my target is around the 250 ish level at the moment um i could be just you know sustaining that target at the sustaining the target when i do add into the, in, into the position because sometimes you do find uh when you're adding into the new position um the target get gets pushed away um ever so slightly but at the moment the target remains around that 250 ish level i'll be pulling my stop just under those uh, um uh, under those lows there um to give it um a, a little bit more room ever so slightly around uh 199 ish and some change last but but not least on my uh, uh, on my list is um Sibanyasta Waters, another platinum miner, um forming a this nice uh, uh looking small looking uh falling wedge um and uh, trade I'm also already in. Um I entered on uh on a breakout through those levels there. Uh let's just make that line solid. On a breakout through those levels there um that's when i entered my initial position looking to add into this position pulling my stop just below the um, um those lows there i'm looking to add into in, in, into the position and for for target purposes using the the height of 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 the range that it, that it was coming from There you go. Still keeping the that sixty nine ish seventy rand um, level as a target. Um, I'll be I'll, I'll be looking to 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 add into this position on the breakthrough that uh, I'm falling wedge there. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for hanging with me back on the British Trader charts. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit that all all important bell notification button. Don't forget to join us tomorrow on the webinar with Tech Markets. That's on Zoom. Uh, I'll leave the link to that webinar on the description below. Um, that's it for the show. That's it for the um, the chat today. Um, check you again on Thursday, and uh, actually check you again tomorrow on the webinar. Cheers.